Firstly, let me introduce you to Wetton Man. He was the first carving that I made. And he's the subject of the remainder of this particular video. That is Wetton Boy. That's the third carving. And that is Wetton Woman, the second carving. Hello, I'm Les Gray. This is the story behind the statues that are displayed in our garden at Wetton. And a little bit about why I made them and how. It all started when I wanted a garden feature um, and found that uh, anything made in the local stone uh, of any size was rather expensive. So I hit upon the idea of making something in wood that would look old and um, I built a set of stocks and I carved some life-size heads and you can see these in the next couple of pictures. I thought I could make something bigger, so I decided to make Wet and Man. Following that, I made Wet and Woman and Wet and Boy. All the statues are made from lumps of oak, fixed together. And all the carvings are made using a chainsaw and ordinary hand tools and chisels. I didn't treat the statues before they went out into the garden with any chemicals because I took the view that oak would be quite durable and would weather quite nicely. People often ask me what the statues represent. I do have a general idea of what I'm setting out to create but largely the overall item is driven by the size of the timbers that I find available to make them with. And the persona of the statue unfolds really as it's made. This video is about the making of Wet and Man in particular, but I have done other videos that you might like to watch if you enjoy this one. My other videos are about the making of Wet and Woman, the making of Wet and Boy, I have also made a video about the uncanny connection that Wet and Man turned out to have in local folklore. So, here we go with the making of Wet and Man. The man is made from several pieces of oak timber bolted together using all thread rods. It needs to be possible to separate the individual pieces of wood so that they can be worked on and manhandled. Dowels have been fitted to keep the sections aligned front and back. Because the wood is second hand there are some holes that need to be filled with pegs. Because oak is quite a hard wood it's sometimes easier to remove the scrap by saw cutting across the grain and then snapping the pieces out. I think that by the time Carlos gets here at six with his Motown shop playing them all, that's right, after watching. I found ordinary wood chisels to be the easiest to use. Here 
the legs of the man have been extended using two pieces of steel to make it easier for him to be cast into the ground outside. This is Hobhurst today. This is my friend, Hob Hurst. I think it's about time he had a friend of his own. Today is Saturday and I've been digging a deep hole in the lawn, ready for Hob Hurst's friend to arrive. I'm sure that's a smile I can see on Hob Hurst's face. This is that friend waiting to join him in the garden. <laughs> 